how many times do you hear the word motivation? Now the problem is, I always say it, motivation without strategy expires at 9 o'clock and then you don't know what to do. Luckily, on today's episode, we are going to dive into the six easy ways how to turn motivation into success. Next to me, as always, very motivated and highly successful, <laughs> Anna-Marie Meyer. Thank you so much. Let's get into this content. Firstly, and I think most importantly, understanding your why. It's not only about how and what. Yes, agree. You need to know yourself. Only once you know yourself and you can ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why do I want to move forward? Because why pulls? It doesn't push. That's it. 100%. Create a clear vision. A clear vision means if you... Close your eyes and you imagine the house that you're going to live in, the school that your kids will go to, the exact car that you're going to be driving, the watch on your hand, the driveway, the trees, the waterfall, the sea, whatever it is, needs to absolutely compel you to the point where you get so emotional, you become teary. That's when you have that stamina required to push past the adversity that you're going to face. Number three, look at the bigger picture. There's always a bigger picture. Absolutely. You can't just live in the now. So why am I doing this? For something I'm dreaming of. And that is the bigger picture that you need to look at. Approach tasks in a new way. Now, Thomas Edison discovered hundreds, if not thousands of ways, how not to make a light bulb light up and work. Thousands of ways, but he kept on experimenting in new and different innovative ways on doing things. That's how you need to approach it, because if you want a different answer with the same approach, it will never happen. That's, never. that's madness. Never. So you have to try a different approach and a different angle to get a new answer. Number five, starve your distractions. Gee, that's a bit of a problem. Um, we all face distractions daily. So if that is the one thing, and it's your cell phone, keeping you away <coughs> from the task, it's a distraction. So you need to actually just sit down and just jot down the distractions. Is it the person next to you talking too much? Is it your cell phone? Is it every time a car drives by? Is it a cup of coffee that takes you out of the office for an hour instead of 15 minutes? Jot it down and then stick to those rules. It's the only way you can do it. Agree. Like it. And then lastly, visualize your success. So if you are a person trying to be, let's say, for example, losing 20 kilograms. If you visualize what your life looks like, 20 kilograms lighter, you need to step into that lifestyle. So what am I eating? What am I doing during the day? Am I jogging? Am I exercising? What does my diet look like? So you have to visualize the result before you get there. And then you have to step into that person that you need to become right now in order for you to lead the way and eventually get to the result. So visualization is probably one of the best tools that you can use and it's free. And you're only capped by your imagination, which is endless. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope it adds value. If it does, please leave us a comment as well as the like button. And, and please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. Thank you very much. Take care and have yourselves a beautiful day. Bye-bye.